Will Smith's family has been in the news and around every corner of social media lately due to Will's latest viral actions at the 2022 Oscars where he, well, we all know about this one, slapped Chris Rock in the face during the big event. As expected, Will Smith immediately received tons of negative comments and backlash after the incident. And even Jada and his son are experiencing trolls and media backlash too. However, Jaden has recently been put under the spotlight as he did an interview and left some comments about his parents and his upbringing that did not really sit well with the audience. Jaden Smith is being mocked on social media for saying he preferred to be around adults as a child, as he says Will and Jada never had an expectation that he'd follow in their footsteps. So what did Jaden Smith reveal about his family and his childhood? We'll take a look at that and more in today's video. But first, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and you smash that notification bell for more updates on this. Now, let's dive in. Jaden Smith revealed he's an old soul who had preferred conversations with adults to people his own age ever since he was a child in a recent interview. In the interview with Big Boy TV that aired earlier this month, the 23-year-old rapper revealed that he would prefer to talk about politics or culture more than frivolous topics. During the chat, the After Earth star also explained that his parents Will and Jada Smith never had any expectation that he'd follow their path with an entertainment industry career though they made it clear that he had to live up to their expectations. I'm very happy that I spent my childhood with more adults than I did with kids my own age, because I was picking up more things from adults than I was from kids, said Jaden, who wore a baby blue hoodie to his interview and sported dyed blonde hair. Then he started babbling in a high-pitched squeal to imitate children and teenagers, shouting, bro, look at my phone, selfie. I'm just like, dude, Oh my gosh, can we talk about the political and economic state of the world right now? He continued in a lower, more mature tone. Can we talk about what's going on in the environment? Can we talk about other things? He wasn't opposed to letting loose and having some fun, even though he preferred more serious endeavors. Jaden admitted that he does like to turn up, flex, play songs loud, and jump in the club in Atlanta from time to time, but is mostly preoccupied with looking for that next thing. I'm not satisfied at, like, a party, he concluded. However, Jaden's revelation did not actually reveal a lot of positive commentary. Instead, he received an opposite backlash and has even trended on Twitter. Jaden began trending on Twitter Sunday into Monday after his remarks resurfaced online. People created memes and jokes to poke fun at the fact that the Karate Kid star appeared seemingly annoyed in the interview that at one point in his life, young children didn't want to discuss serious subject matter with him. One Twitter user wrote, Jaden Smith, when he sees kids going to birthday parties instead of discussing politics and the economic state of the world, with a picture of a man face palming, another one wrote, Jaden Smith on his way to curse out his kindergarten classmates for not understanding the complexities behind the current political climate. Another captioned a photo, a teary-eyed SpongeBob SquarePants, eight-year-old Jaden Smith when Jaden gave him a Spider-Man-themed birthday party instead of a book study on the War of Mesopotamia. A fourth, referencing Jaden's role in the pursuit of happiness at eight years old, joked that their favorite part of the film was when young Jaden Smith said to Will, Father, the socioeconomic state of New York City will not permit you to maintain a baseline lifestyle as a door-to-door -door salesman. You should attempt to join an investment firm instead. One tweet included a video of Cristiano Ronaldo excitingly raising his feet to accept an award. Jaden Smith, after telling every kid in recess that they only have 20 years to live because of global warming, the author wrote. Another person posted a humorous drawing of a man with a brain that had grown so large that he was able to sit on it like a chair, which they captioned how Jaden Smith felt like when he said, bro, can we talk about the political and economic state of the world right now? To a bunch of middle schoolers. Jaden has not addressed the backlash on social media. His rep did not immediately return media requests for comment. Philosophize and chill? After being trolled on social media for his prior comments condemning his peers' interest, Jaden Smith proved that he recognizes his privilege and can laugh at himself in the process. The criticism comes just after his father, Will, was in the hot seat for his infamous Oscars 2022 slap, which Jaden seemingly defended. The rapper tweeted right after the award show, and that's how we do it. 
My dad's speech made me cry. The youngest Smith added about his father's acceptance speech, during which the Ali star cried, apologizing to the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, and compared himself to his King Richard character, Richard Williams, for being a fierce protector of his family. The following day, the Oscar winner publicly apologized to Rock and condemned his actions. On April 1st, he resigned from the Academy, and a week later, the board banned him from attending the Oscars or any Academy or related events for 10 years. Me, hey, wanna talk about the economic and political state of the world together? The Pursuit of Happiness actor tweeted on Monday, April 18th, beginning a hypothetical conversation between him and someone his age. Girl, nah, he continued the pretend dialogue. Me, okay, cool. Smith shared the tweet alongside a shirtless photo of himself staring off into the distance. Although Jaden seemed at ease discussing his relationship with his parents, he notably avoided discussing the incident in which his father slapped Chris Rock at the Academy Awards ceremony. Smith resigned from the Academy in the aftermath of the horrifying incident, and he was subsequently forbidden from attending the Oscars event for 10 years, though he can still be nominated and receive prizes. Jaden also opened up in the interview about his famous parents and how they never tried to steer him toward a career in show business. There was never that expectation, he said, of following in Will and Jada's footsteps and definitely not going into hip hop. When he was little, the musician and his sister Willow would make parodies of their mother's series, The Matrix. I thought everybody's parents made movies and I thought that everyone made movies with their kids too, he admitted. Following a front row seat to his parents' business talks and their impending initiatives, he may have developed a predisposition for serious conversations with older people. They'd be having a meeting about their next film or something and then they'd put me at the head of the table and just make me sit there while they're talking, debating with all of these people, talk numbers, talk about all that crazy stuff, Jaden said. Despite the fact that Will and Jada were not setting their own expectation on Jaden, they made sure he recognized that others may. They made us aware of it before we even found out from other people that there was this expectation on us. They said, hey, people out there in the outside world, they're gonna say, and they're gonna say, you have to live up to our expectations of what we've done and what we've accomplished in our lives. And you'd have to live with that, he recalled. So we kind of knew that when we were young. Jaden gained confidence as a result of that dose of realism, which was blended with encouragement from his parents. My parents always told me I could fly. My parents told me that I could dig a hole to the next side of the earth, he said. I would always ask him if I could do things. They would always say yes. They wouldn't necessarily be like, here it is, he clarified. When it's time to go get the shovel, it was like, you go get the damn shovel. But they would always let me know that you could do that. Well, that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more videos.